It started when I helped Dilton test his new time belt. Whoa! Too bad the test was a disaster. I was okay, but my whole body was infused with chronophasitrons that made me immune to any changes in the time continuum. Then Dilton built a safer time traveling device, the Corono Field Generator. <gasps> but Finney Wells stole it from Dilton and tried to use it to rob the Riverdale Bank. I used Dilton's time belt to stop Finney and snatch back the Corono Field Generator. The police took Finney to jail. I thought my time travel troubles were over. Little did I know, they were just beginning. This is Archie Andrews' fault. No matter how long it takes, I'm gonna make him pay. I've had to wait 30 years, but I don't see why you have to wait that long. Whoa, who are you, dude? I'm you 30 years in the future. Take my hand, and I'll get you out of this jail. Then we can get our revenge on Archie Andrews. All right, dude. Where did he go? Aha! A postcard from Area 51. Plenty of cheerleaders here on Earth will return with as many as I can kidnap. Not if I can help it. I have you now! Might as well come on out. I know you're in here, you cheerleader kidnapping Martian creep. But Mars needs cheerleaders. Oh. All our Martian athletic feats of daring do have gone uncheered for centuries. Forget it. All our cheerleaders are going to stay right here on Earth where they're needed. You're right, Earthling. Enslaving cheerleaders for our sporting events is wrong. Our ancient civilization lost sight of what is truly important. It has? Pity us. We'll never again have cheers to inspire our athletes. <laughs> uh, maybe you can just hire some Earth cheerleaders over summer vacation. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep this up anymore without laughing. <laughs> Someone turn on the lights. <laughs> what? Cheerleaders! <laughs> Boy, did I have you going! <laughs> Archie, you should have seen your face! This has to be the best practical joke of all time! Reggie, you didn't have to embarrass me in front of the entire class. Oh, I didn't just embarrass you in front of the entire class. I broadcast the whole thing over the school's public announcement system. <laughs> I feel ever so much better. <laughs> I understand the impulse. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Laugh it up, guys. <laughs> Archie huh? Andrews, we've had it with you. Hi, Betty. Hi, Veronica. Don't you hi, Betty. Hi, Veronica. Us. Yeah, Veronica and I have been talking with Reggie, and he helped us figure out what you've been doing to us. Uh, and that is... Don't play innocent. You know exactly what you've been doing. Reggie explained it all to us. You've been playing the two of us against each other for your own foolish male ego. But no more. We're putting an end to it right now. We demand you make a decision. Which one of us is going to be your steady girlfriend? Huh? But you're both so appealing. Choose! Now! Uh, couldn't I just get back to you over the weekend? I'm stuck! <laughs> What's the matter, Romeo? Trouble with the ladies? Hmm? Reggie, why are you causing me so much trouble? 
because you're an unending source of amusement. You're the mirth of the nation. <laughs> Ta for now. <laughs> Get me out of here. Archie just huh? ordered this for you. A hamburger for me? What a thoughtful friend. I tried calling both Betty and Veronica. Neither one will take my calls. I keep telling you, Arch, the only way to handle women is to have impossibly high standards like me. Yeah, but you never had a date in your entire life. And I'm happier for it. Why can't I make up my mind? It was so much easier for my parents. They were both waiting for friends outside the Riverdale movie theater. When they looked into each other's eyes, they knew they were meant for each other. I love that story. Almost as much as I love biting into a nice, juicy, 100% all beef burger. Ow! Blah! What in the name of all that's good and sweet in the world is this supposed to be? Huh? A veggie burger? You made me break my vow to never eat vegetables. How could you? Me? What did I do? You ordered me a veggie burger. Friends don't let other friends eat vegetables. I feel so betrayed. But I didn't... I don't want to hear it. I just can't talk with you right now, Archie. I'm too upset. <laughs> oh, that is too sweet. Another classic Reggie Mantle practical joke. That's it. I've had it. <gasps> so I'm a constant source of amusement for huh? you. Hey, Archie, it, it's all in fun. It's just for laughs. Just you wait. I'm going to get you, Reggie. It could happen today, or tomorrow, or next year. But I will get you. Telephone, Archie. We'll see who's laughing when I get my revenge. Hello? <laughs> I'll be right there. So how did Finny escape? Listen to what happens when I take a reading with my temporal scatter. This entire Riverdale jail has high traces of temporal phase energy. Someone used a time travel device to help Finny escape. Oh, no. Not time travel again. I hate time travel. We're facing incredible dangers. What do you mean? The time continuum is extremely unstable. What little change of the past and the entire course of history might change? Worse, no one would realize history had changed. Only the time travelers themselves would remember the way things were originally. So what can I do? Your body is still radiated with the chronophasitrons from our first test with the time belt. So? This means you'll be immune to any time shifts. You'll still remember the way things are supposed to be, no matter how much history changes. So I can go back in time and stop Finny from changing the past. Come on, let's go to the lab and get the chrono field generator. Huh? What was that? What was what? Oh no. I think Finney has already changed history. What makes you think that? Because my car definitely wasn't pink when I parked it. I wonder what else has changed. Why don't we just trash Archie's car or something? All this history stuff is boring. I didn't spend 30 years in jail for nothing, plotting my revenge on Archie. This is a very clever plan. It's a very boring plan. Ugh. I want Archie to suffer. Now go back into the past and do what I told you. Okay, you don't need to shout. I will have my revenge. When I'm done, Archie won't even recognize Riverdale or his friends. remember my car ever being any other color than pink? It's just as I explained to you. No one but you and any other time travelers would notice a change. No. It's happening again. What happened to my car? What car? You've always had a motor scooter. We have to get to your lab before any other changes happen. Great! Another time shift occurred. I didn't notice anything. Let's hurry. This is only going to get worse. <sighs> 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 
wait. I need to take a break. Dilton, uh, I just had an awful thought. If all these time shifts alter things like my car, won't people start changing too? It's a distinct possibility. We're the sum of all the choices we make in our lives. Change just a few of those choices, and we become different people. I feel a little better. Let's walk a little. You might see some strange things, Archie. People are going to be acting awfully strange, and you'll be the only one who notices. Yoo-hoo! Huh? Dilton! You hunky genius, you! Oh, huh? no. Big Ethel. She's always pestering me. But Big Ethel has a crush on Jughead. Ah. I wish. Big Ethel has had a crush on me since fifth grade. Hi there, my handsome man of science. This must be a change from that last time shift. While I'm flattered by your attention, Miss Muggs, I must remind you that my heart is pledged to the pursuit of knowledge. Playing hard to get, huh? Give us a kiss. Mm. Go on without me, Archie. I've got bigger problems right now. Huh? Great. Now I'm on my own. What? You won't believe it. I can't stop now, Jughead. But there's a new health food restaurant in town. They've got an all-you-can-eat salad bar. The whole world has gone topsy-turvy. I have to get to the lab. He seems so stressed out. Must be too much red meat in his diet. This would have been so much easier with a car. Huh? Veronica? Is that you? Yes, it's me, Veronica Lodge, your ever-friendly girl next door. What are you doing? Just earning a little extra allowance by doing some gardening for my parents. I'm saving up for a computer, you know. Oh, no! Here comes that flashy blonde, Betty Cooper. She's always throwing her money around and showing off. Boo. Betty, I can't believe that's you. You look so, so glamorous. Why, Archie Boo, you say the sweetest things. Hi, Betty. Oh, hello, Veronica. That's quite a fashion statement, Veronica. Want to go for a ride in my sports car, Archie Boo? Well, I do desperately need to get to the high school. Sure thing, Archie Boo. I'll see you later, Veronica. Toodles, Veronica. Why do the boys always fall for flashy, spoiled girls like Betty and not someone nice and sensible like me? Hi, Coach Weatherby. Coach? I thought Mr. Weatherby was the principal. Cut it out, Archie. You know very well that Dr. Beaumont is the principal. But isn't that Dr. Beaumont's shop up ahead? Silly, that's Grundy's. That's Miss Grundy? Okay, I give. What's Grundy's? Just the hottest disco scene in Riverdale, that's all. See, kids already lining up to get in. Of course, you're taking me there tonight, right, Archie Boo? Wait a minute. What happened to the library? Library? There's no library in Riverdale. That's Starbucks. No! Professor Flute Snoot would never allow it. You mean Officer Flute Snoot, that meanie? He just arrested Reggie last week for reading in public. Readings against the law? This is worse than I ever imagined. So I told Mommy that I didn't like the yacht because the color was all wrong, and then I... Well, here we are. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you later. But I didn't finish my story. Benny must have the chrono field generator. How can I stop him now? Wonderful. This place is a mess, and the chrono field generator is gone. Now I can't travel back in time to fix things. Unless Finny didn't know about the time belt prototype. Yes! I swore I'd never wear the time belt again after all the trouble last time, but now... 
<sighs> it's my only hope to stop Finny. Now to find Finny. Great! Another time shift. I wonder what crazy changes have happened this time. There he is! Ooh. Archie Andrews! Get him! Why do I keep asking questions I don't want answered? Hold on to him tight! We don't want him to escape! Jughead! Pop Tate, let go of me! Why are you doing this? Don't play innocent with us, punk! You've committed crimes against our beloved Emperor! You can't! Huh? What Emperor? Behold his magnificence! Emperor Finney, the one and only! Yeah! Huh? You are so totally busted, Archie. Me? What did I do wrong? Allow me to answer this one. Because you decided to interfere with my younger self's plans, he had to spend 30 years in jail, and he became me. So why are you changing history with all these time shifts? Revenge! You ruined my life, so I'm ruining your life. By changing the past, I've changed your town. I've taken away your friends, and I've put my younger self in his rightful place as ruler of the planet. Nachos, my leash. But it's still not good enough. You're about to pay the ultimate price. Couldn't we just talk this over? I'm going to go back in time to make sure your parents never meet. I'll eliminate you from history completely. You'll never exist. A Riverdale without Archie Andrews. That'll be the sweetest revenge. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a chance to change time again. All I have to do is distract Fred Andrews long enough so that he never meets Archie's mother-to-be, Mary. And then Archie will never exist. I'm not going to let you do that, huh? We have to separate. Dilton warned me about this. Our time devices are creating a temporal feedback. Never! I will have my revenge! Together, we can get out of this. Help you. Never. You must suffer. One of these buttons has to get me out of here. Listen to me. This is your fault, Archie Andrews! You'll pay! Someday you'll... Gotta be careful. Who knows what awful revenge Archie has in store for me. <laughs> Safe at last. All that trouble just for revenge. What a waste. Well, I'm not going to make the same mistake. Hey, Reggie! Uh... Reggie, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I'm not going to waste any of my life trying to get revenge on you, so you can relax. This is a trick, right? You're setting me up, trying to lull me into letting my guard down. And then, blam! Revenge time! No, really. You're safe from me. It won't work, Archie. I'm going home and getting into bed where it's safe. Unless that's what you want me to do when you've booby-trapped my bed. Oh, no! What am I going to do? Riverdale was completely back to normal after I returned to the present. With one exception. No one remembered that Finney had ever existed. Dilton explained that the feedback from the chronofield generator must have erased Finney from the timeline completely. That's a high price to pay for revenge. As for me, the only time travel I plan on doing from now on is the normal way, second by second. That's the safest way to enjoy life in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs>